hey hon, check this out. It looks like there's an article that some guys are taking their wives' last names when they get married. Are you serious? Yeah, it looks like it's a trend. I can't work out if that takes big balls or no balls at all. You know, it's not too late for us to do something like that. Oh, sweetie, three weeks till the <laughs> wedding. Let's just stick to plan A, okay? Oh, come on. You know, taking your last name so yesterday. Yesterday? The tradition's been around for like 3,000 years. You know, so I was traveling by horseback, but we were all happy to do that end now, weren't we? Plus, honey, come on. You know, I'm the only shot at my last name continuing on. Right. The world needs more thistle sweets. Honey, I, you know, we, we, told, we already talked about this. You can hyphenate for work. Come on, come on, come on. What if we, like, you know, picked a new last name, like Sid and Lily did? I hate to break it to you, honey, but Sid and Lily overdosed on wheatgrass and Howard Zinn a long time ago. You know, what if, what if we, like, picked a last name, you know, that, like, you know, characterized us? <laughs> and what name would characterize us? I don't know. Betsy and Stuart Quick Sex. <laughs> that's not fair. I beat the t four minute mark at least twice this year. Okay, that's what you think. But seriously, seriously, come on, come on, come on. I'll even let you pick the last thing. Oh. All right, fine. Uh, you know, playing along, if I had to pick a new last name from scratch, mm -hmm. mm, I would pick Daniel Day Lewis. What? Why? Because he's just that fucking good. Oh my god, you're a freak. You know, any kid of ours would suffer with that last name. No, they wouldn't. He, uh, any kid would, he would just have to tell his friends to go Netflix, My Left Foot, Gangs in New York, the list goes on. I mean, they'd worship him. Okay, now that we're officially having a him, having a boy in our life, you know, what do you plan on naming this kid of ours? Wow, this is our first kid conversation. Uh, I don't know, I never thought about it. Well... Let's see what the internet says. <laughs> says some hot new baby names this year are um, Kaden, Coral, Skylar, Vance. <laughs> no, those are the kind of names that get your ass stuffed in a locker. Okay. <laughs> We've already been through your whole locker stuffing issues as a child. Let's let's continue. Let's see. Uh, we've got Legend. Oh, come on. Piper? Oh, give me a break. Ooh, ooh, London. We can name it London. London? London? Well, shit, let's just name him Cherry Hill. <laughs> you... What about... What about... Grace? Grace? Oh. Honey, you know who I blame for this whole unique baby naming competition? Who? That guy from Coldplay. Naming that kid Pineapple. <laughs> it started... Don't you mean Apple? Oh, whatever. They both belong in a food group. Not on a birth certificate, okay? Oh, come on. You're ridiculous. Listen, listen, this is serious, honey. If we're going to have a family and raise kids, let's just pick names that are short, easy to spell, and normal, like Bob or Tom. Okay, those were only normal when we were growing up. Now normal is like Skyler or Kaden. Picking those names is like giving the middle finger to everybody who came before you, you know, like your family, your ancestors. I mean, could you imagine Skyler, Washington, leading the revolution? I mean, come on, if we pick a name like that, we'd be abandoning our heritage, abandoning our child. You're ridiculous. You know, why don't we just name our kid blah, 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 Pocahontas, which oh, actually happens to be number say that, 12 on the hot names this year. So. It really ah. is there. Uh, ah. Look, I know, honey, you got a point. I just, this is just, I don't know. Lighten up. Honey, come on, you know I'm, I'm cool, I'm loose. I voted for Obama. Okay, you know, I mean, if you don't get with the program, there will be blood. Huh, how about that? Huh, funny. Well, you know I love it when you talk Daniel Day-Lewis to me. <laughs> All right, what are some other ridiculously trendy baby names? Let's see. We've got Aiden, Sex and the City. Hmm, Tybin. Ooh, oh my god, you are totally going to love this. Our kid is so going to be an engineer. MacGyver. <laughs> I fucking love that show. I mean, yeah, sold. MacGyver it is. We are totally naming our kid MacGyver. Yes. What about his middle name, though? See, that's where I'm thinking we should go kind of old school. Maybe you know my grandfather's name. Wait, what was his name again? Seymour. Perfect. So, MacGyver, Seymour, Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> but I think my last name should be represented somewhere. Could be another middle name. 
Okay, okay. So MacGyver Seymour Thistlethwaite, Daniel Day-Lewis. See, if we're going to use your last name, we should use my last name too. That way we're both kind of represented there. It's only fair, sweetie. MacGyver Seymour Thistlethwaite, Hannah Wacker, Daniel Day-Lewis. You can't forget Cherry Hill. Oh, of course. But then, you know what? Then the name door has shut. Okay, okay. okay done. Done. Okay. Shut. Let me see if I can recap. MacGyver Seymour Thistlethwaite, Hannah Wacker, Cherry Hill, Daniel Day-Lewis. Such a pretty name. Well, honey, there is no doubt that our boy will be special. What if we have a girl?